So let us now study the ray diagram for the convex and the concave lenses. So we have a convex lens with the focus F. The points on the left hand side are denoted by suffix 1 that is F1 and C1. The points on the right hand side are denoted by F2 and C2. F is the focus whereas C is the center of curvature. And the distance of OC1 is 2 times the focal length. Now, if the object is placed at infinity, you can see that all the rays are parallel to the principal axis. Hence, all the rays should pass through the focus on the other side. So, if the object is placed on left hand side, the image form will be on right hand side and it will be on the focus. As all the rays converge on the focus, the image is a point image and it is real. Now, if the object is closer to the lens but beyond C, beyond the center of curvature, you can see the rays which are parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus and the rays which pass through the optical center will go without any refraction. And hence, the image formed will be between F2 and C2, between the focal length and the center of curvature. And the image will be inverted and the size will be smaller. Hence, if the object is placed beyond C, the image form will be between focal length and the center of curvature. It will be inverted and it will be diminished. Now, if the object is brought even further, the image will go away from the lens. If the object is placed at C1, the image will be formed at C2. Hence, the image will be inverted and it will be of the exact same size as the object. So, when the object is placed at the center of curvature, the image formed is real, inverted and of the same size. Now, again, if you bring the object even closer to the lens, the image moves even further away from the lens. So you can see that when an object is placed between the focal length and the center of curvature, the image formed is beyond the center of curvature. The image is inverted and it is enlarged as well as the image is real. Now, we again bring the object even further, we place the object at the focal length. Now we can see that the rays passing through the optical center and the refracted ray which is passing through the focus do not meet, hence the image is not formed. Image can be formed at infinity. And if you move the object even further, the rays in fact diverge. So we can extend the rays on the opposite side that is on the same side of the object and you can see the image formed will be on the same side of the object. Hence the image is virtual, it is enlarged and it is erect. So this was all about the convex lens. Now let us understand about the concave lens. Now again. The concave lens, when the rays are parallel to the principal axis, they in fact diverge and if they extend the ray exactly in the opposite side, they should pass through the focus, that is F1. So you can see the ray, if the object is placed at infinity, the rays parallel to the principal axis will diverge and if we extend them to the opposite side, the rays will pass through the focal length. And hence, you can say, when the object is placed at infinity, the image formed is on the same side, hence it is virtual, the image is a point image. If we bring the object even closer to the lens, you can see the ray which passes through the optical center goes straight, the ray which is parallel to the principal axis will be refracted and if we extend it, it will pass through the focal length. Now you can see the image which is formed is not a point image but it is on the same side as the object it is erect and it is diminished and the image formed is between the optical center and the focal length so in concave lens no matter where the object is placed the image is always virtual image it is always diminished and erect as well